Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. You know, the Bible says in John chapter 15 and verse 13, it says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. All my friends, if a person is everything that they think they should be, you know what? They won't just think about themselves, but they'll think about our Lord Jesus Christ first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. But the Bible says in John 15, chapter uh, chapter 15, verse 13, he says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You know what? i tell you what. When you can find someone that will lay down their life for you, like Jesus did, then you have a friend. No greater love than this. It is love, my friends. Love that, that counts. Love is powerful. Love is strong. And I really believe in my heart, it's love that everyone seeks and chase, chases after of today in this world. I really think that a lot of problems that we have is because internally, people just don't feel love. And you know what? The Bible says that in the end, there will be three things that remain faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these things is love. Love is very powerful. And love is something that I think is absent in our world today. And it says it has no greater love than this, that someone would lay down his life for his friends. If you can find a friend like that, my friend, you have something special. But you know what? What a friend we have in our Lord Jesus Christ, because that's what he did. He laid down his life that we might have eternal salvation. He rescued us from eternal damnation. Oh, my friends, this is a wonderful thing. But, you know, friendship, I know in this day and time, we say we have a lot of friends because of uh, the, our ability to com communicate on the Internet. But, you know, the reality is most people don't have any friends at all. He said there's no greater love than this when someone can lay down their life uh, for their friends. But I want you to listen to what it says in John 15 in chapter 1. Jesus says, I am the true vine. I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. He cuts every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it, as talking about you, will be even more fruitful. Oh, my friends, no branch can bear fruit by itself. The friendship, the love that we experience, the love that we pass on is from the fruit of the Spirit that lives inside of us. We cannot imitate that. It is the Spirit of God that is inside of us. The Spirit produces the fruit. And Jesus says, apart from me, he's the true vine. We must be connected to him. <laughs> and when we're connected to him, we become true, faithful, and honest friends to others. And see how that works? We're connected to the, to the vine. We're connected to the source. We are connected to the one that produces the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. And when we're connected to that, then that love overflows out of us into those, into this world. And it says in that, that the same chapter, John 15, verse 4, it says, No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. We must remain in him. And Jesus is that vine. My friends, no greater love is this to lay down your life for your friends. And that's what our Lord Jesus Christ did. He laid down his life. And I really believe in this day and time, there are very few people that we can actually call our friends. But that's how it is in this world today. But we want to allow the fruits of the Spirit that's in us to overflow out of us. If a person is everything that they think they should be, then they won't just think about themselves. That's right. But a lot of times, people think they're all of this, and you know why? Because they think only about themselves. 
There's no greater love than this, than you know, a brother laying down his life for another. And that's what the Bible says. Oh, my friends, but we must stay connected to the vine. And Jesus is that true vine. We're just branches. That's right. And if we disconnect, then we will die. And what we're seeing in our world today is people are internally dying and hurting and suffering because they're not connected to the vine. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you, my friends.